Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Dr. Rosina. Today we'll be talking about the way for giving the long buccal nerve block. But before we continue, make sure to smash the subscribe button down below for more videos. Long buccal nerve is anterior branch of the mandibular division of the trigeminal nerve. So similar to the inferior alveolar nerve and the lingual nerve, all are branches of the mandibular division of the trigeminal nerve. What does it anesthetize? So only one thing, which is the buccal soft tissue adjacent to the mandibular molars. So the buccal gingiva, not the lingual gingiva. The lingual gingiva is by the lingual nerve. Buccal gingiva is by the long buccal nerve, as the name suggests. Lingual nerve equal to lingual gingiva. Long buccal nerve equal to buccal gingiva. Got that? When you will give the long buccal nerve, of course, not for any uh, restorative procedure, you will give the long buccal. No, you don't need that. So only during extraction is needed. Why? Because during extraction, obviously, you will use the mucoperiosteal elevator to retract the gingiva. So, of course, the buccal and the lingual gingiva, you will retract. Uh, so, obviously, you need to uh, give the long buccal in order for the buccal gingiva to be anesthetized. And the lingual nerve is the lingual gingiva. Now, how can you give the long buccal nerve block? Now, as you can see, you need to give the long buccal uh, parallel to the occlusal plane, not opposite, like coming from the contralateral side, like the inferior alveolar nerve. No, you will be coming parallel to the occlusal plane. Here is a clearer picture showing you are coming parallel to the occlusal plane of the teeth. You will be giving the long buccal nerve. Here is another picture. Insert parallel to the occlusal plane at the distobuccal cusp of the last tooth. So if the patient is having third molar, you give it distobuccal to the third molar. If the patient is having second molar, does not have the third molar, so distobuccal to the second molar. So at the distobuccal cusp of the last tooth parallel to the occlusal plane, that's the way of how you will give the long buccal nerve block.